February. Today is Saturday, June 25th, 2022, and I am just driving up north to go to some crown land on an island across from the cottage of a viewer who um, let me know that, hey, you know, we've got a cottage and this crown land, this island across from us, we just found out is crown land. If you ever want to camp there, you're welcome to park at our cottage. So yeah, we've been uh, talking for a while and uh, we've worked it out. So today's the day. I'm very excited. It's hot. Um, I think that's it. I've got some exciting news to share and uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff. So let's keep going. It's about 10:30 uh, in the morning. Should get there by noon. All right, let's keep going. So I'm almost at Carolyn's cottage. It's 11:59 uh, a.m. I still have to pack my uh, my backpack. Um, Carolyn and her husband are gonna lend me a canoe, which is super exciting, so I don't have to um, inflate my kayak. And uh, yeah, so pack my backpack, load up the canoe, and off I shall go. I'm so excited, it's such a beautiful day. I'll get rid of these, these tan lines. <laughs> Look at this tan line. Anywho, I'm gonna try and get rid of that this weekend. So <clears throat> it's 12.39, so I've met Carolyn and Kevin. They're so sweet and kind and helpful and generous and I'm so thankful. Um, so I'm all packed up and I just have to bring my stuff down to the canoe and then canoe out to, it's called Egg Island and this is called Chandos Lake. Um, I've got way more stuff than I need, way more food than I need, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get going. All right, that's Carolyn and Kevin. Thank you so much, you guys. So I'm just circling Egg Island right now to, to pick my uh, camp spot. Apparently there are two established camp spots. Uh, apparently there's a beach. Um, yeah, this motorboat just went by and like just the waves that that created. I was like, oh my God, I survived. Um, <clears throat> oh, by the way, the hat I'm wearing, International Transport Nova Scotia. This is my friend Johnny's company. Um, it's his wedding I'm going to August 6th, which is basically shaping my entire summer. Like I'm huh, hiking my way toward the wedding and then hiking back from it. So yeah, very cool. Anywho, let's uh, find a camp spot. All right, I can't seem to like spot with the naked eye anyway, uh, the second camp spot. So I'm back at this first one. I think this is called Indian Head Rock. Um, so I just, there's a rope there. And anyway, I just have to find a way to get out and uh, scramble up that little hill. And I'll start setting up camp.
so before I start unpacking the canoe, I'm just gonna have a look around and see if I can find that other camp spot. Um, by the way, no bugs. I, I, I just, I'm so, I always come so prepared for bugs and then there aren't any, I'm not complaining. So let's uh, unload the canoe and go for a swim. All right, so I've got my stuff all brought up. Um, I've got the island to myself. So yeah, I am just going to, like I basically, I fell, like, <laughs> so I'm already half wet anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for a little swim. See you soon. That was amazing. By the way, it's indigenous trekkers of Nova Scotia, not international. Um, oh my gosh, so that was just a quick dip. I'm gonna go back to my campsite, do some stuff, have another dip. I'm having a great time. I'm having an amazing time. Thank you, Carolyn and Kevin. Thank you for inviting me to, to park at your cottage and to enjoy this crown land. I'm having a blast. Let's uh, take care of some administrative things. So I'm going to find a um, spot and I'm going to dig a nice deep hole and that will be, that will be the um, <clears throat> ladies room for the, for the evening. All right, next order of business, find two trees uh, to hang my hammock tent on. risk but I'm not going to put the fly on my hammock tent very rarely do I do that the last time I can remember doing that was um, on my ride from Toronto to Vancouver in that town I was still in it was very early in the um, in the ride I didn't put a fly on I'm not gonna put one on tonight either I'm just gonna sleep underneath the stars um, yeah so I'll just put my sleeping bag in there and uh, then I'm going to go for another swim.
time for a nap. See you soon. One more swim and then dinner. Right, it is 20 after seven, time to cook some dinner. Yeah, so this is definitely an area, you know, I, I feel like a lot of YouTubers, you know, take a lot of time or at least their, their cooking is interesting or something. Uh, I don't really cook, I'm more like concoct. Um, so I will show you what uh, tonight's concoction is. Indian noodles with shrimp, that's it. I remembered the can opener. Yay. I also remembered cutlery. I am just on a roll here, people. had shrimp from a can before. I did not realize that shrimp could be so tiny. It's like the veal of seafood. All right, so I made the dinner. It, it does taste good. I just, I'm not that hungry. I always wonder what Steve Wallace does. Like he makes this massive dinner. Like what does he do with it overnight or like? He certainly can't eat it all. Anyway, even that is like a single serving and it's kind of a lot. I will eat it later. Anyway, I've been hearing voices from over there and my guess is that it is um, Carolyn and Kevin and their guests because I know they're having guests today. So I'm gonna do a canoe by, or sorry, a paddle by <clears throat> um, and just say hello. It, it might not be them, but I'll, I'll try. Um, yeah, I'll do a paddle by and then hopefully I'll be hungry by the time I get back and I'll eat that. And I just have to say one more time, I was so ready to like battle the bugs and like, I mean, there's the odd bug flying around, but where are the mosquitoes? No mosquitoes. Um, yeah, relatively no bugs. Like I just, I'm, I'm thrilled. So yay. So this definitely isn't like out in the deep dark woods, like there's cottages all around, like you can hear, you know, all day you heard like people working on their homes or boats going by or like people partying, but those kind of sounds don't bother me at all. In fact, I, I like them a lot, you know, people being happy. Uh, so that might not be like satisfactory for some people, um, but I'm, like could compare this to, to camping in a provincial park, like lot 24, right beside lot 25, for example. So it's no problem for me. They look like they're having, they sound like they're having fun. And it's not like, you know, in Toronto, I can <clears throat> go to Lake Ontario, right? And it's just like a madhouse and people on their jet skis and oh my God. So yeah, I like a little bit of, a little bit of noise, a little bit of life removed just across the lake.
and those people are really nice. They're like, you want to come for a beer? I'm like, I have wine. <laughs> anyway, I'm having a great time. I, 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 so the voices I was hearing was not, the voices I was hearing, yeah, was not um, Carolyn and Kevin, but I, I, I did do a paddle by and say hello. So, anywho, back to the campsite. I feel like those bugs look like mosquitoes, but like they're not coming anywhere near me. This is very curious and awesome. Yeah, no, I, I haven't put on any bug spray. I haven't used my thermosel. I've remembered everything this time. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Um, can opener, cutlery, thermosel, inserts and extra fuel thingies, yeah. Uh, bug spray haven't needed any of the, the bug stuff I, I don't mind bugs as long as they, I just don't like mosquitoes things that bite me uh, okay so I'm half done my dinner So I think I understand now why there were no mosquitoes today. It was too hot. So now that it's cooling off, there are some. It's not crazy, but so I've sprayed myself with bug spray. I'm standing by the fire, but they are getting a little bit annoying. Um, plus it's like late, it's getting close to 10. So, oh. so I'm gonna go to bed. Night, night. Good morning, it is a Sunday, June something. Um, it's like 7.30 or 7.40. I have been happily, you know, waking up and sleeping, like, and then just going back to sleep, sleeping in, because this is my only opportunity to sleep in for the foreseeable future. You know, I've got a week left of uh, school and then Right away, I'm doing like that uh, six days in a row of, um, of hiking. So yeah, this is my only opportunity to sleep in. So it's been nice, it's nice and warm. No fly in the tent so I can see trees in the sky and the sun. I can also see a million mosquitoes <laughs> waiting for me. Uh, so 
I'm gonna have to pick my moment and um oh I'm also like holding like I'm pushing <clears throat> my hammock tent with my feet that way and holding my hammock tent this way because I already tried to film this and my arm pressed against the the mesh um I got mosquito bites so they, they stung you right through the um through the mesh. Okay, so I'm gonna get up and make coffee shortly. The mosquitoes are definitely worse by the tent, which is tucked in the forest where the trees are, <clears throat> to hang my hammock tent on. Here by the uh, fire, like in this clearing, they're fine. I've also sprayed myself with bug spray. So yeah, let's make some coffee. All right, it is 8.46 a.m. I've finished my coffee, cleaned up the pots, um, and it's time to clean up the rest of my camp. Um, I did do a little bit of garbage collecting. Um, it looked like things that were lost, not tossed, so that's good. Uh, the strange thing I found was a mason jar <clears throat> of um, pickled green beans and garlic. It looked super old. Um, yeah, and a few pieces of garbage plus my own. Anyway, so I'll do a last check over for, for any other garbage. Um, but it's time to head back into that mosquito infested forest and pack up my, my sleeping bag and hammock tent. So one more dousing of uh, bug spray and uh, let's do that. Right. Yeah, packing up the hammock tent is so quick and so easy. I and I've had that same hammock tent for years and years and years. It's still in like tip-top condition. I uh yeah. <clears throat> Highly recommend the Hennessy hammock tent. Anywho, it's now exactly nine o'clock. Um, it's supposed to be like an overcast day. If it weren't, I, I might consider sticking around and like tanning, because I don't know. Uh, I think I a little bit got rid of my uh, very defined tan lines, but more work needs to be done. Anywho, yeah, I'm just going to finish packing up and I think I'll get going. I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to make breakfast. You know, when I eat those or drink those um, Nescafe sweet and creamy, like those have a lot of calories. So, so yeah, that's sufficient. Okay. All right, I'm all packed up. The canoe is loaded up. I wish I could film myself getting up that, uh, this like crevice. It uh, requires some skill. 
All right, so let's do one last paddle around Egg Island and then go and see Carolyn and Kevin. personality that I am quite fond of. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carolyn and You're Kevin. Welcome. I had a great time. Thank well, you very much. Fun. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. I said that I had some exciting news to share. Uh, that news is um, as of Thursday at 4.24 p.m., my second book called Look Ma No Hands is officially published and for sale. Um, <clears throat> right now it's just for sale through the uh, Friesen Press bookstore, uh, but in a couple of weeks all secondary sellers will, will provide it too. However, if you are planning on purchasing it, um, please buy through Friesen Press because I get a better cut. Um, what did I want to say? So yeah, it's a book about my bike ride from Toronto to Vancouver. It's my second book. Uh, I'll put up the information for both books uh, when I'm done labbing. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, uh, yeah, ebook or soft cover or hard cover are all available. I am now a published author of not one, but now two books and I'm super excited. I'm also excited to have that off my plate because it was a lot of work. Um, it's a labor of love, but it, nevertheless, it's a lot of work. Anywho. Let's get on the road.